Dear President Komorowski, dear President Giscard d'Estaing, dear ministers, dear Mr. Baracchi Bonvicini, friends and guests, I would like to send my warmest greetings to all of you in Krakow on the occasion of the European Intersectoral Summit on Research and Innovation. I believe that the topic chosen by Atomium Culture for this high-level conference couldn't be more timely and appropriate. As you all know, Europe is currently experiencing difficult times both in economic and social terms in order to come out of this crisis and in order to generate growth create jobs, which is the most important for our citizens and enhance competitiveness. We need to make innovation and research one of our highest priorities. Also, we need to turn Europe into a knowledge-based economy, which is not just a slogan. It's a real goal and task in front of us. This cannot be done without providing adequate technical and financial support to the policy areas of innovation and research. I therefore support the proposal of the Commission to increase significantly over the next seven years investments in these areas. Furthermore, to create in the next multi-annual financial framework, a common EU strategy for innovation and research called Horizon 2020. Besides this, Europe's main driving force, the single market, must be completed. The Single Market Act, which was presented by the Commission this spring, will help fill the remaining gaps. The European Parliament will work hard on the proposals to make sure that we end up with good legislations, which remove the barriers that prevent bright ideas from reaching the market and which create a true European research area. As a trained scientist, I am well aware that innovation and research are the keys to Europe's future. Let's use these tools wisely. I wish you all a stimulating and fruitful debate. Thank you very much.